am here to remind you that no matter what you're going through in your 3D reality, your circumstances still do not matter when it comes to manifesting your desired reality. Look, we all know that we are one with our desires. We all know this. However, at times, we are really not sure if all the techniques that we're doing, all the meditations that we're doing, we're not always sure that that stuff is working. But here's what I'm going to tell you is that no matter what, you still must persist in the assumption that things are working out in your favor. And I'm going to give you three ways in this video to stay consistent with persisting in your desired reality, even when your 3D circumstances are showing you the opposite. All right. So let's just get into something that I want to share with you before I give you these three tips, because the third one is really going to bless you because it's the one that I've been using the most. And it's the one that to this day has gotten me to where I am when it comes to having a successful business online. I beat vertigo. Literally, I was dizzy in the bed and me persisting in the state of being healthy, the new identity of a person who is healthy, who is running in the park. I kept my mind focused on the things that I knew were mine, even if I was laying in the bed sick. Or even when I first started my online business, I was like, what the hell am I doing? Nobody's going to buy my products. Um, I don't know how to run a business model. And even still, I knew deep down inside that I must persist. And I want to tell you guys something about me that you may not know. I am a huge boxing fan. I love to watch boxing. I love the story of how people can train for a fight the mindset of a fighter when they train they have to eat well they have to be focused and then when they get in that ring it's kind of like do or die either you're going to win or you're going to succumb to the blows and the punches and that is a metaphor for life so my favorite boxer is muhammad ali muhammad ali is my favorite for a lot of reasons but he was quoted one of his most famous quotes was, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because isn't that how 3D circumstances that you don't like works? Isn't it like you feel like, damn, all this stuff is happening to me. I don't know how I'm going to get through it. And so I always remember my favorite boxer's catchphrase, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. And what I want you to do right now is think about something in your life that you don't like. Think about a circumstance that is really getting the best of you. And I want you to imagine yourself floating above it. Like a beautiful butterfly. Just kind of like, oh, okay. Don't see you. Just live in my life. And then once you float above your circumstances that you do not like, what you're going to do is you're going to sting your 3D circumstances with affirming. You're going to affirm like you know that you know that you know that you are a winner. You are a fighter. There is nothing right now that you're going through that you cannot overcome. Because when you float above things, kind of letting them come in and out of your reality, but not giving them any type of no type of reaction. Just like, okay, I see you. All right. I see you. Okay. Bad credit. Can't pay my rent. Okay. SB acting a fool. I see you but I'm going to float like a butterfly. I'm still going to remain in my power. I'm still going to persist. I'm still going to say my affirmations. I'm still going to listen to my subliminals. And then what I'm going to do to really stick it to my 3D reality is I'm going to sting my 3D reality with affirming everything works out in my favor no matter what. Type that down in the comments. Everything works out in my favor no matter what. And if you really, really want to let me know that you're listening so far, I want you to type in float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, baby, because that is what we're doing in life. We are navigating our 3D circumstances in a way that's going to help us to understand that these circumstances do not mean that we're not getting our manifestation. 
So the three ways that I want to share with you that are going to help you to really stay consistent with being persistent in the assumption that you would like to see come into your life is to go to the end. Go to the end result. Put yourself in the vision of the end result. How are you experiencing your life now that your manifestation is here? What are you thinking? How are you behaving? Who are the people around you? How does your environment look? You can wake up in a shack right now today, but when you close your eyes, you could be in a mansion. It's really that simple because what you see in your mind's eye, the 4D, is the only reality that matters. So go to the end result. And I want you, every time you feel like your circumstances are getting the best of you, I want you to float into your 4D. Take a moment. Take a beat. That's, that's step number one. Step number two, hello, listen to subliminals. Make your own. The sweetest sound to your subconscious mind is your own voice, believe it or not. Believe it or not, your subconscious mind is more susceptible to be impressed when it hears your own voice. So listening to subliminals is the easiest way to stay consistent because you don't always have to be aware of affirming. You could take the easy route and just listen to your subliminals with the suggestions in them that would imply you already have your shit. Now we want to get our things. We're not sitting here saying, oh, please, 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 universe, give me my things. We are becoming we're becoming aligned so much so to where there is a natural way of moving in life. When you go to your refrigerator, you're not questioning whether there's food in your refrigerator. When you look in your refrigerator and you see food, the natural way of behaving is to assume that I'm going to fix myself some breakfast. So when you're going about your day, make the assumption that, hey, everything that I desire to have is mine. Listen to those subliminals in the background and go about your day. Go about your day. Persist in the assumption that everything that you're listening to, all the affirmations that you are saying to yourself are working out in your favor. And this is going to help you stay consistent because then when you may feel like you're spiraling out of control, you know that the subliminals are working. You know this to be a fact because the science backs it up. The third thing, and this is the most important thing, so listen up. Listen, listen, listen up. When you are spiraling out of control and you're doubting that your manifestations are coming and you're not really persisting as much as you would like to, I want you to stop wherever you are, take about one minute and just start rampaging. I want you to take a deep breath, open your heart up, open your space up, go into the bathroom if you're, if you're at work, um, stop your car, pull over to the side when you're spiraling and this is what I want you to do. I want you to connect to your heart center. I want you to connect to your heart space. And take a deep breath and just start giving thanks and gratitude. Start rampaging when you go into that negative spiral. This is what I want you to do. I'm so thankful that things are working out in my favor. Isn't it wonderful that I have all the things that I desire to have? I am so capable of manifesting anything I desire to have. Isn't it amazing that I'm making a thousand dollars a day? Isn't it amazing that my life is going the way that I want it to go? I'm so thankful that me and my boyfriend, me and my husband, whatever your SP is, me and my husband have the most amazing relationship. I know for a fact that money comes to me consistently, always in healthy, happy, harmonious ways. Here is the kicker to making your persisting and your assumption works. Say this to yourself. I know for a fact that and then insert the thing that you desire to have. So it will go something like this. I know for a fact that my channel has 100,000 subscribers. I am so thankful. I know for a fact that I am a happily married woman in a loving, committed relationship. I know for a fact that I have an amazing, slim and trip body. I know for a fact that my husband loves me unconditionally. You can go on and on and on. Here's what I want you to know is that you are not a quitter. 
I made a video a couple of days ago about not giving up on your manifestation, even if it seems like things are not going your way. And I'm going to continue to tell you this until I can't say it no more because I really want you to get this. You are not your circumstances. You are bigger and better than those circumstances. And I want you to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Sting like a bee by persisting and affirming always and forevermore that you are a master manifester and what you say goes in your reality. I love you so much. Take care of yourself and I will talk to you in the next video. If you would like to know anything about what I do as a mindset coach or any of the group coaching that I offer in my private membership, just check the description box down below. Bye. Peace.